go follow me over there. But yeah, I'm, I'm always on TikTok and so many people on there make amazing videos showing these like holy grail products and this was basically just an excuse for me to be able to buy all of them and try them out. So here we are. I picked up makeup, skincare, and even a hair product. So I'm really excited. I'm going to give you guys the real tea and let you know if they're worth it or not. So if you want to see a full face of TikTok makeup, then go ahead and keep on watching. But yeah, I just wanted to give them a little bit of a shout out and say thank you and also recommend them to you guys. I will link them down below and if I can get a coupon code for you guys as well, I will do so. So yeah, just want to say thank you. I'm not sponsored or anything, but they were kind enough to send some jewelry and okay, let's go ahead and get started into the video. So the first thing I want to talk about is actually the hair product that I picked up. It is this bad boy right here. Um, I was seeing so many videos of this. It's a Revlon. You know, I just got it at Walmart. It was like 50 bucks and it's a blow dryer and a styler all in one. So you turn it on. There's a few different heat modes and settings. And then if your hair is wet, fresh out the shower, you just like brush through it and it dries while styling your hair. So I used it this morning for the first time. Just did this nice little simple straight style. Some of the front pieces have kind of like fallen out now because I've had this hair all day, but I'm impressed. Like literally it took me probably 15 minutes to dry and style my hair, which is record timing because my hair, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is super duper thick. So usually if I get out of the shower, I have to blow dry it, which takes like a solid 25 minutes. And then I have to style it on top of that. So this was definitely a lifesaver and I'm going to be using it so much more. Um, the one thing I do want to say though, I would not recommend this if you have curly hair or really, really fine hair because it does get pretty hot. And if you have curly hair, I don't think it'll be able to like fully straighten it naturally straight or, you know, kind of wavy hair. I think you could make this work and I think you'd really enjoy it and definitely saves time. So, so far this is getting a 8 out of 10 from me. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully I don't look too crazy, but everything else I have in this Target bag, I actually picked up everything at Target except for two things, which I had to get on Amazon. But other than that, everything's pretty easily like accessible. It's easy to find and it's affordable. I believe I got all the makeup and skincare products for $60-ish. I want to say, but overall pretty good. Everything's pretty affordable and easy to find, which is nice. So the first two products are skincare products and I actually managed to find these in the mini section. So I didn't have to get a full size. I could just get the mini and dry it out and then go back and purchase the big one if I wanted to. So the first thing is the first day dissolve cleansing balm. So this is a makeup remover balm. Again, I saw so many TikToks of people saying that this is like one of the best makeup removers and face cleansers on the market. And I just had to test it out. So yeah, I picked this up and again, I just got the mini version. I've used it once. It's sort of like a waxy clay formula and then you just massage it into your skin and then you put a little bit of water or whatever, mix it around and it's supposed to take off your makeup, cleanse your face, all that stuff and then you just rinse it off. So I have used this one time. Unfortunately, I wasn't wearing any makeup when I used it so I just used it like a normal face cleanser and it did, I think it did a good job. Um, it made my skin feel pretty clean and fresh. The only thing I do want to note is it definitely has a scent. It smells like a Christmas eucalyptus candle, like, you know, some sort of like pine candle or something, you know, uh, definitely has that like essential oil type smell. Uh, and it does linger for a little bit after you're done washing, but like after like five, 10 minutes, it goes away and you can't smell it anymore. So, but if you don't like scented things, I don't even know if this is like a scent put in there or if it's just like the ingredients in it are really fragrant. Uh, you probably won't like this that much. 
doesn't really smell like sunscreen at all, which is good. I hate sunscreen smell. I don't know how much to apply. I'm trying to apply this like it's foundation and that might not be the right thing to do, but whatever. Just gonna go in with a sponge to start blending it out. Yeah, definitely um, a little bit too dark for me right now, but honestly in the summer when I'm like self-tanning more, this will probably match me pretty freaking good. Because it is sheer, of course it's gonna work um, for, you know, more people just because you don't need an exact shade match when you're using a sheer product. I look so glowy. I mean, sunscreen will definitely do that to you. Makes you look like you just put a highlighter all over your face, but I don't mind that. Nothing is like clinging to where I put that putty primer. Honestly, it gave me a little bit more coverage than I was even expecting. I feel like this would be great for the summertime when you're a little bit tan. You just need to throw something on, kind of clear up your skin a little bit, but keep you nice and protected. And it was only $7. So, honestly, I think this is a win for me. They just need way more shades. They need to come out with more variation. That might exist, but when I was ordering it, I didn't see any. I just saw this one, so now I'm gonna go in with some concealer, and I think the number one most recommended concealer on TikTok that I saw was the e.l.f. Camel Concealer, and I got the hydrating one. I picked up the shade of Fair Beige, which I believe was like the second shade that they had, just a little bit more of a neutral tone color. Um, yeah, we'll see if this works. It says it has a satin finish, and I've heard a lot of people say this is a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. It even has that, like, really big toe foot applicator, so I have high hopes. I'm just gonna apply it how I normally would apply concealer. I've been applying my under eye concealer like this for a while, and I actually got it from a TikTok as well, so. <laughs> Love that. TikTok is taking over my life, and I'm not mad about it. Okay. I'm just gonna spot conceal a little bit. I've been a little bit behind on my skin recently. Um, I've been using Curology still, and um, still really enjoying it, but I haven't been keeping up with it because of all the moving stuff, so my skin is not looking the best right now. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with my sponge and start blending this bad boy out. I think this color match is gonna work just fine, which is good. And it's blending in like butter, honestly. I'm not even really having to try at all. It's just kind of soaking into the skin. The one thing about the Tarte Shape Tape that I don't really enjoy is that it does feel kind of heavy, and it kind of, it's like it's thicker. It's harder to like blend out, but this one definitely does not feel like that. It feels very lightweight. Like, I, I can't even feel it on my skin right now. And on top of the primer, I can see my pores a little bit, but nothing, like, that isn't normal. I feel like you can always kind of see my pores around my nose area, so not mad about it at all. It's going nicely over top of the primer, and it's blending into the skin beautifully, so... and I 
Shadow up. 
do sort of a half cut crease and use one of the pressed glitters. This could turn out really good or really bad. So, we'll see. But I think I'm just going to apply a little bit of concealer on that inner corner. And then I'm just going to use a eyeshadow brush to kind of cut that crease. Okay, so you can't really see the concealer too much just because, of course, I'm using a skin tone concealer over, like, really colorful shadows, but I kind of cut it right there. And then I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and kind of blend out that edge so that the concealer blends a little bit cleaner into the shadow instead of there being, like, a really harsh line. Okay, for the pressed glitter, I'm going to use this one right here. It's just, like, a basic champagne sort of glitter and I'm just gonna try and apply it with my finger I think I'm not using any glitter glue so we'll just see how well it works sticking straight to the concealer and nothing else I mean okay fucking work